what's going on guys bsg bringing you another grand cross video i'm a little late but i was not staying up for the patch notes or whatever you want to call them i was tired i streamed last night which i don't often do so you know that was pretty cool but yeah i wasn't staying up i, I just i ended up falling asleep because i was really really tired exhausted but yeah we got the maintenance update and preview notice for tomorrow um and pretty pretty okay stuff nothing like insane but you know it's it's okay so part two of the anniversary is coming tomorrow and with part two we will get a new brynhild i am going to summon on her banner i really really love brynhild she's uh, my number one waifu for sure in the game uh, i love her design especially the wedding outfit the wedding outfit is top tier i love it it's it's insane but um her skills are actually very unique too because it's all about like wedding stuff like she's walking down the aisle you got the um i guess this is like the popping the champagne bottles with her with her spear like it's, it's pretty cool it's pretty it's pretty unique but um all right let's keep going so we got some new content we got anniversary artifact card and then we also have new holy relics for every single elizabeth um the first one is just Elizabeth increases allies HP HP related stats by 15% works in the back, which is really nice. This is actually pretty good for the red one. The red, uh, the red Liz, right? She does work in the back with her passive automatically, which heals you, I think 10% of your max HP. So this Holy Relic is very, very good for like original demon because it can allow you to heal even more. So that's, that's pretty good. I like that. I don't know how it's going to work on the green Elizabeth, but it, it's pretty dope for the red SR one for sure. And then you have the Elizabeth and Hawks increases the hero's basic stats by 30%. Um, none of these like Elizabeth and Hawks are like that crazy. So you're not going to be using them too much, but you could run, I guess, like this blue one. If there's ever a strong debuff meta, Keo is keo is pretty much like the best opponent this elizabeth and hawk can face because of the amplify that they provide for the whole team so um or not amplify these solidify they provide for the whole team and they have amplify so you know you'll probably use them then but that's about it this red was not that crazy uh we also have the ragnarok fan art costume so that's nice really really dope design i love this design um shout outs to roseanne she's the one who actually created this you know concept so huge huge shout outs to her for making this um making this costume set for my waifu brunhild all right so then we got new bundles this is just the ticket bundles for um summoning we already know how that works and then we have a hammer bundle and awakening stone bundle now this is actually pretty good because 50 hammers is actually not bad it could be better but it's not bad 100 awakening stones is also not the best but again it's probably going to be for cheap so it's not the worst ever right so it's not terrible all right so then we got the hero's way revamp i think this might be one of the strongest again this is why i keep telling people i think this anniversary was geared more towards new and beginner players because there's a revamp to the hero's way if you guys don't remember what that is you get various rewards by completing tasks and then at the end you get like a ssr ticket or something like that but now they revamped it so every hero that you get because you will get heroes now from this every hero that you get for completing a stage clear you will get them level 80 you are fully awakened that's powerful as hell um so here are the heroes that you can get and again these heroes aren't terrible because you got green king who for beginners is going to be good for the um gray demon you got elizabeth who can be solid red arthur who's amazing pretty much essential for the og demon derriere for crimson demon red meliotis for beginners for crimson demon red Escanor for beginners for crimson demon thonar pretty much essential like these two right here are pretty much essential to the belmoth raid and then Zaratros, who can be really nice. So there's not there's not a terrible lineup for beginners. It's it's not. It's actually very strong. Again, if you're a veteran player, you pretty much already got them level 80 fully awakened anyway. So this is not going to help you. I I think you can just get plat like do like platinum coins for this, which is nice because that's 12 platinum coins, right? That is pretty cool. But other than that, it's not really going to help you too too much. And here are all the rewards that you can get as well. Some pretty nice rewards. 16 Super Awakening Coins, um, 200 Anvils, 10 Hammers, 20 of the UR Engravement Stones, 2,500 Enhancement Stones, a couple of Treasure Chests. Like, this is pretty pretty 
okay nice rewards nothing like oh my god i like yeah but it's, it's pretty nice right it's decent six ssr pendants that's terrible they they should have gave us 12 like easily 12 but whatever a couple demon mats so not bad not bad all right so some system improvements holy relic active animation so now you'll be able to see if the opponent actually has their holy relic at the start of the battle which is a major major buff to pvp in general because a lot of people try and hide that they have holy relics behind like a different cosmetic set right for weapons but now you'll be able to see if the holy relic is actually active on them so that's pretty cool so they can't hide it as much anymore so that's pretty dope improve the display of ultimate move level so um yeah i guess it just i have no idea what i guess it's just easier to check the ultimate move level. okay sure uh improvement of the friendship coin pop up okay uh you can now cook 30 dishes okay awakening material fusion so it's gonna be a little bit easier oh they added a hp scale for every 10 percent mark on the boss so now you'll be able to actually see what percentage of health you have the boss at that's good that's actually pretty good um that's gonna help a lot of people for the og demon because you know he has that he has that uh gimmick on hell I'm not, I'm not sure about the other stages but on hell i know he has the gimmick where on the second phase if you get him at 10 percent or below and he doesn't die he becomes immune to everything so that is good i like that that they added that added this uh, added a display to check the number of stages cleared um when you're on repeat that's good for grinding gold because you can actually see how many times you clear the stage on repeat so that's that's pretty fire improve some seasonal heroes okay improve some seasonal heroes to acquire costumes when enhanced so some seasonal heroes will require will receive cosmetic and weapon costumes oh okay nice so i guess if you just upgrade up to you are gear or you are cosmetics you'll be able to get it okay nice you'll be able to get a new costume or something like that all right whatever sure balance changes all right so this is it's not the biggest thing in the world but it's it's definitely helpful for some of these characters so aoe weak point got buffed because brenhild has aoe weak point it got buffed so now instead of 80 percent, it's 90 instead of 110 it's 120 and then on rank 3 it went from 170 to 185 so that's it's not the biggest buff in the world but it does help a little bit because some of these units could definitely use buffs anyway like mon speed shin just pretty much he's always been a, a good character right but now he got a buff to his weak point which is nice you're never using gogius or gother unfortunately but you know monspeed can definitely benefit from this in a in some type of way if he ever gets a holy relic and it's good this will definitely definitely um come in clutch this weak point aoe um buff so that's good and then some heroes were added to the ragnarok characteristics so pretty much every single ragnarok unit that wasn't on it is now there so that's good that's good so this is big too, a guaranteed SSR draw wish pickup event. Uh, I, I've seen a couple memes on Twitter about this. <laughs> like you'll be able to basically pick which hero you want from the guaranteed SSR draw and the rates will be increased by a lot. And then you'll be able to summon and again, you just have an increased rate to draw the unit you want. So example, it gives here, like you see five out of five and then you tap on draw guaranteed wish pickup. So then, I don't know how much the rates go up by, but I knew I do know it's pretty big. I do know it's actually pretty big. And then if the desired hero appears in the draw five times, the hero's rate will be reset. So if you actually pull the unit before the five is done, you will actually just reset this. Uh, I believe once you run out of the five, you get it guaranteed. I'm not too too sure, but I'm I think that's how it works. Um but yeah so that's pretty cool um captain hawk is going to be given a free of course then you got part two events so part two events right you'll be able to get another level 90 med um medallion so that's good so you can get another unit to level 90 just with the snap of a finger that's good right with a press of a button you'll be able to get a level 90 unit which probably for most people if they pr pull brunhild they might use it on her but if you're a new player you know it's going to be a little bit harder to choose because it's like okay who do i use this on probably a festival unit for sure but i think i'm going to use it on brunhild all right so here are some part two events so we got this new event whack a hawk we got ghost leg final boss battle hawk <laughs> uh fight festival boosting point event which i think this is next week i think this is actually active next i'm not sure but 
um, fight festival boosting event. We got a new boss, Gallon's nephew event boss, and uh, I believe oh Merlin's e engravement support event, and I believe that's all that's really new. We will be able to do a free multi on Brynhild's banner. Not that bad. All you got to do is basically summon, draw equipment five times, play the Ghost Lake three times, participate in PvP two times, and then use the final boss battle shot five times. So it's not bad. And the rewards are. They're okay. Five Super Awakening Coins, fit, uh, five Hammers, 150 Anvils, five UR Engravement Stones. Like, it's not terrible, but it could definitely be better. But the free multi is the, <laughs> obviously, the, the bread and the butter. So these missions aren't hard, and then you'll be able to get the level 90 Medallion. All right, so Blessing of the Goddesses. I made a video on this. This is very strong, very, very powerful. You'll be able to actually get a, a level four and five now. And they added a new level one buff, which is the White Wedding Invitation three points and then Star Hammer three points. Okay. This is the new event. So if you capture Hawk, I, 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 yeah, if you, if you capture Hawk, right, you'll be able to get a couple of decent rewards. So we get all in all six SSR pendants and one UR pendant, which is nice which is good because if you trade these in for a UR pendant, you get two basically, so that's good. Max combo, so if you get a 80 combo, you get some cosmetic upgrades and five treasure chests, which is pretty meh, it's not the best. Um, then you get a high score. If you get a high score of 5,000, you'll be able to get all these demon mats, which is really good. And then for bomb uses, if you get up to 120, this doesn't matter too much because we can just make this, but this is good. Nine super awakening coins. So all in, they're giving us a lot of super awakening coins. So they give us what? So this is nine right here. This is five. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's 14 right there. And then we keep going up, right? And go up. They give us 16 from this hero's way, which is really, really good. So it's over like 30. So it's a pretty decent amount of SSR uh, or what you call it. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Super awakening coins. Super awakening coins. That's good. And then an extra five here, because if you get 100,000, you get five. Okay, not bad. Uh, costumes for Merlin and Gother, another copy of Hawk. Okay. Not bad. And then it's how to participate. Uh, I'm not going to read all that, but you can pause the video, I guess, if you want to read that. Star Hammer locations. This is where you get all that stuff. Ghost Leg. Ghost Leg is an event that I'm not a huge fan of. It's kind of mid, to be completely honest with you. I don't really like it, but I know a couple people might enjoy it. So there you go. Um, we we've already know how this works. We already know how this works. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Final Boss Battle Hawk okay so final boss battle hawk is coming which is interesting you get a, i think this is eskinors i'm not sure whose hair this is i i think it's eskinors though yeah i'm pretty sure it's eskinors um okay so here's some stuff from the exchange shop Ugh, man it's a limited exchange shop i hate that i hate that so much man so you can only do it a certain time of day. So dumb, so stupid. Here's the rank, rank placement rewards. And then here's the accumulative score rewards. So the fan art costume is free. Get up to 10,000, you can get them all. And then another Captain Hawk copy <laughs> um, and five gems. So anything else really? Boss battle parade, Gallus nephew. Some good stuff there. All right, that's pretty much it, though. To be honest, Merlin support, uh, Merlin's engravement support. So now it's fifty percent reduced to engrave, which is good. And then you, you can remove engravements for free. Nice. But all in all, that's that's pretty much it. We got demonic beast battle enhancements. So it's two times the reward. So when you clear uh, the big bird, when you hit a big bird on stage three instead of one, you get two. So that's neat. Other than that, there's nothing really that really that crazy but yeah uh, that's gonna be it for the video guys let me know what you guys think of part two of the anniversary i for one think it is geared towards newer players but you know to each their own but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video thank you guys so much for watching i love you all enjoy the rest of your day and have a good rest of you what <laughs> have a good rest of your day and as always you guys already know i will see you all later